Hello friends. Welcome to my channel Rims at Sea Vibes. This is the first time I am interacting with you all directly and this is my first voice over ever in any of my videos. So please pardon me if I do any mistake in this video and please bear with me. Thank you. As you can all see today's picture is on a sunset view because I am in love with sunsets so I have tried uh, depicting one of my most favorite scenes in my painting and I have used acrylic color for that this is for all the art lovers who haven't had any formal training in painting but just love playing with the colors I hope you all like it my friends so uh, let's jump right into the video let's start the tutorial so as i said i have used very simple art supplies here uh, nothing very expensive as an alternative for the canvas i have used watercolor 300 gsm cold pressed paper and they work great for acrylic colors as well they don't buckle up the new color and uh, it is also grainy so it adds texture to your painting i just love it as an alternative uh, for canvas and uh, most importantly you can use them for practicing acrylic colors uh, and they are very inexpensive As you can see, I have started with the sky. I used uh, many, many different colors because as you saw in the beginning, uh, the sky has many, many colors and many hues and colors to it. It is a beautiful evening sky with mauves and crimson and pink and oranges and yellows and so many different colors here and there. One thing you should keep in mind is to blend the colors well. One very important thing about acrylic colors is that you should use the right amount of water. If you use too little water, uh, it will be very difficult for you to blend the colors. Acrylic colors in general are very difficult to blend, unlike the oil colors, because they tend to dry up really, really fast. Please notice that I am uh, doing little patches at a time that will help you to blend colors easily. So uh, you can see I am using a very small flat brush for the purpose. One more thing that I think I need to mention. I haven't made any sketch uh, before painting this picture but if you are a beginner i would suggest you to uh, make a rough light sketch first and then put your colors as you all can see here i am just playing with the colors at this stage I'm just blending the colors and trying to make the right shade of colors and it's very important for you to enjoy the process. Don't worry much, you are not using a, a, an expensive canvas. So even if you happen to spoil the painting, it's okay. Please don't ever be scared of spoiling a painting. First of all, this is acrylic colors. You can uh, reverse your mistakes you can 
cover up your mistakes with more and more colors. So please don't worry. Please don't be scared. It is so very important for us to enjoy the process of painting. I'm pretty sure many of you will agree with me, but this was just a little piece of advice from my side, mainly from the beginners. Here we tend to use more and more yellow as we come near the horizon because as we are painting a sunset view, the sun will be right uh, near the yellow portion. So as we go up, the sky will be uh, more bluish and as we come down, the sky will be more orangish and yellowish. Let's make the mountains now. Always remember one thing, the distant mountains will be much lighter than the nearer ones. So we will add more whites to the distant objects just to make them a little lighter and to fade them out. So the colors will become more brighter as we come closer. If you are new to my channel, it is my earnest request to you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Please share the video with all the art lovers you know. Your love and support motivates me a lot to get back to painting over and over again. I am available on Instagram and Facebook under the same name. You can follow my Instagram handle which is Rims Artsy Vibes or like and follow my art page named as Rims Artsy Vibes. To all the subscribers out there, I'm really sorry. I just apologize from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't make videos for the past two to three months because I was too occupied with my with my personal life. And so I did not have the time nor the mental peace to sit and paint for you all. So I'm really, really sorry for that. I will try and make more videos from now on. I like using the dark colors first followed by the light colors. Uh, I like to make all the detailings using the light colors on the dark background. So as you can see, I'm using dark colors in the foreground. The detailings will be added later. Again, I'm working on small patches at a time. As I said, it helps uh, you to blend better because working on a smaller patch the color I mean you have more control over the colors and you can blend them before they dry out
rather than using black for the bushes and all the darker background I'm using different shades of blue and green adding the lighter shades now it helps to highlight certain areas and also helps you to give all the details For the lighter shades, I have mostly used Viridian Green mixed with white and different shades of yellow. I am using a detailing brush to add the details. Here probably I have used uh, brush number 0 or brush number 1.
want to add details to the sun and make the sun rays. For the sun rays, I am using very diluted white color. This is very very important. Using dense white color will, will destroy the softness of the picture. So this is it guys. I hope you liked my tutorial video. Please share with all your friends and please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.